Yo what is up guys, Mr. Panels here with Opera Omnia and this is the final wave for the Maria EX event. We're running a full MLB Lightning with good passes, Titus, MLB, no 15 CP, good passes, Vaughn, one limit break, 35 CP, no 15 passive with a sauce friend, MLB, good passes, we're running Ifrit uh, for the 20% attack buff as well. We did all the waves without using a single skill. Okay, starting it off, we got uh, double debuffs there with Titus. We got two turns speed down on Vaughn. That made him lose one turn there, but we should be good now. They are going to be doing some AoE on the second round. For the third round, they might do some uh, HP attacks if we're not careful. <clears throat> but so far, uh, we got our saws out. We buffed our uh, our lightning. We need to buff out Vaughn as well. We took it some damage on Saz there, but that's fine. Uh, we got pretty lucky there actually. As I was mentioning, the HP attack. Okay, so we're waiting for Vaughn here. I need him to use more red spirals so I can charge up and have him use the charges with the Saz buffs ideally. Now this team comp is uh, full damage dealing team comp. Now there's Titus in there but there's a good reason for Titus because he applies those debuffs right and he will actually boost our damage because of that so this is actually my uh, strongest team in terms of damage dealers so mm, just getting them out there see what happens. Okay so we have uh, Vaughn he's got, uh, he's got his boss Titus is back we already got uh, the debuffs on all of them uh, trying to save my skills there. Okay, so I I'm just doing Brave or HP with my Tears so I can let Vaughn and Lightning do the work while they have those uh, Saz buffs on them. I went for the Ifrit there just so I can get some big numbers here because uh, the bosses they are weak to wind so Vaughn plus the attack buff from Saz he will hit really really hard so I'm gonna need to get uh, some wide rolls during the summons to maximize my damage also lightning with the uh, flourish plus the brave region there uh, she could get some really nice numbers in here yep Titus go for the brave there another wide world boom that's 8100 flourish for 9500 beautiful alright so we got four turns looks like we're going for the wide world there we get the break very nice we got the blind uh, Titus is maxed out, probably gonna be doing an HP here. Alright, nice. Uh, B needs to get broken. There we go. We got the Brave Attack. One turn on Lightning, we gotta get that Flourish. So, these bosses have a very high HP requirement. They are the uh, highest HP units in the game right now. Okay, we got our Titus broken there, but we had to take that break because we wanted to deal as much damage as possible and we need to kill this guy ASAP because he is going to be doing a supercell pretty soon and uh, that will be bad news indeed especially with that 6700 bravery in there. I think he'll do, he's probably going to do a discharge and then a supercell unless he did the super or the, the discharge already. Looks like I'm ignoring him so uh, yeah this is going to be a discharge. I'm trying to break that one alright yeah there's the discharge. But now he's at 10k he's gonna be doing the supercell so we gotta kill him right now this round we got three turns uh, B is gonna be doing a discharge now B is at full health he has capacitance level 1 so he's not gonna be doing any supercells once they get those two balls right there uh, then they will start uh, potentially doing supercells after they do a discharge okay so I, I, I try to be careful there I know I was gonna get broken but I had to take that damage or the slash combo for the damage and now I can finish him off with the lightning so that was very very close one more turn and we would have been toast so now we're left with this guy he's got two turns of debuffs uh, I'm going for the red spiral with Vaughn there just because I still had the sauce buffs I want to maximize my damage there uh, going with HP for everyone okay so now since there's only one left and he has capacitance level one he's he's only gonna be doing brave attacks and maybe uh, the single target HP attack if he has enough bravery but I'm just gonna break him every time and just use brave plus HPs and he's not gonna do anything he might do a discharge but he is not going to do the supercell so this way I can save 
my skills. So there's the discharge. So yeah, so he's going for the single target as you can see. Uh, let's see, 8700, that's a lot of bravery. I'm gonna have to pop some skills here even though it's not ideal. Uh, refresh the debuffs there, nice. Uh, two and five skills left on lightning. Uh, the flourish would be nice for the uh, regen. The spark would be also good for the attack buff. They they do resist <laughs> lightning. Okay, we lost some damage there with that red spiral. And didn't hit hard enough. We were broken. Okay, spark strike for the attack. So it doesn't hit that hard, but since she is full MLB with good passives, she still does. Uh, respectable damage compared to my other units. Okay, we'll go for the slash there just to get that chase damage there. 3k. Okay, we're preparing. So he got his capacitance level 2. He's gonna do discharge and he's probably gonna be doing uh, super cell right now. So this is interesting. So Vaughn, he's out of skills. We can't really do much here. He's got 4 spark, spark strikes, 1 flourish. Uh, five quick hits, one slash combo. This is very, very close, right? We did save all our skills. We did not use any skills for the other waves. So this is uh, our full potential here. Boom. There's the supercell. So as you can see, we are still a little bit over 50%. So we can survive another one of those supercells. Okay, we broke him there. Got some nice HP with Vaughn and Tidus there. Beautiful. Tondaga on a lightning. Uh, Flare should be nice here. Yep, I'm going for it. Gotta get that brave regen. 20% attack as well. And uh, D max bravery, of course. Okay, ooh, we're going for the quick hit there. Mm. Oh, because he's going for the discharge. Yeah, so I went for the quick hit there. Break him and to get the ability bonus. And I'm gonna do the quick hit right now again. So I get the ability bonus there. Hit him a bit harder so I can shave that bravery off. And we don't want to take any damage right now because if we take some damage, then the next supercell will be deadly. So that's why we gotta break him every time. Uh, hopefully he won't reset. That could be bad. Sometimes he might reset and HP right away and just possibly one shot you. Alright, so we got a chase there. That's pretty good. 13k. Ooh, and capacitance level 3. So at 50% he's gonna be doing the level 3 which will give him a defense up of 10%. So in terms of dealing brave damage to him, he will have 10% more effective health, or rather 5% since it's 10% of the 50%, right? So uh, it's a bit annoying. Uh, looks like we have one slash combo left. That is perfect. So we got the debuffs there. Uh, he's, still, uh, he's still pretty healthy though. We're down to three spark strikes. Lightning, okay, we refresh the buff there. Tidus has got two quick hits. Mm, he's gonna go for the discharge here. Oh no, it's the super cell, okay. There we go, so <laughs> that was it, right? Uh, we have no healers. We're trying to, to do this with full DPS. No healers, no excuses. Just bring it on. Damage all the way. Just how we did with uh, the fire Iguions. That's how that's how we do it here. We got Saz as the friend unit to boost our damage as much as possible. Okay, I'm trying to get as much damage in as I can here. I went for the HP there so I can HP with my lightning here as well since he has 5k. And then I can break with Vaughn. Took a second there to make sure that I could break with Vaughn as you can see. He hit very low despite... Or not despite because of the fact that we don't have the Ifrit buff anymore, so uh, we're running out of skills, we're running out of Ifrit buffs it's getting really really scary right now. Lightning, she can still hit pretty hard with that Spark Strike buff it's a 40% attack buff, plus her uh, Blinded by Light which is an extra 20% as well uh, her passive level 50 passive ooh, it looks like all right, so we couldn't brave shave there, and Bon took a hit there, and but he was out anyway. Uh, you may see him. We could have HP'd with him there, lightning with uh, a decent chase there. Not much we can do here. Just gonna go for the brave. Too scared. 
I don't think he could regain that much. Yeah, he hits for 1k, then he gets hit for 1300. No way I could have uh, not get broken there. Spark Strike to get the buff again and an extra turn. So we can break him here. Boom, he's running out of debuffs as well. Uh, we do have quite a few or quite some good brave amount, but he does a third supercell. And that is it right there. So, um, yeah, I we had some, some brave numbers here, as you can see. And um, I don't think it's doable without a healer. I think that's the conclusion for this video right here. Um, even if we have ma had managed to kill him before we had died here, uh, that's still not enough for the HP requirement. The HP requirement is 10k or less. We've already taken 15k or something by this point. And the boss still has a lot of HP. Now we could have played it a little bit better, get some more HP damage uh, with these numbers for instance and then some of the other numbers earlier. But that probably still would not have been enough and I actually think with this strategy here, this uh, does not work. You probably can't even clear with this one. So we already know the HP requirement is not going to be enough. Uh, the turns 157, uh, the turns aren't enough as well. But for the clear, um, we are missing the 15 CP passive for Titus, the 15 CP passive for Vaughn, as well as two limit breaks on his 35. But I did the math and I think we maybe get him down to... 10% or something, it's gonna be real close, but I do not think it is possible with a team comp like that or like this one right here. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, uh, a healer seems to be required for this one. Uh, it's really, really easy to take three super cells. Maybe if you have a Saz in your main team, you can do it uh, without taking the third super cell, but you will still take two super cells so i think for this one you really need some kind of healing uh, in order to complete the mission but anyway guys let me know what you think about this team comp and um, let me know what let me know your thoughts about the event and i shall see you in the next one have a good one and take care